Greetings YouTube, I usually make my commentary rule about 5 minutes max, 8 to 9 minutes, but I make a special exception for my man The Exit, who puts so much work into editing these that they are like a masterpiece per video. And this is the 13th submission he has sent me, and look, he is uh, even, uh, and again I'm going to hide myself um, to show you the full, um, the full scale. Because he's even put color coatings now into this. And he just got Hercules! Alright. See you later, YouTube. I'll be back. My first pull of a six-star champion. 337 points for the oversaturated market for OG Deadpool. Very nice. Cavalier Cosmic Crystal. Why is he even in the game for a buff, man? That's what I keep telling myself. You know, they're going to eventually buff him. That's what I'm thinking. Still hunting for six-star apocalypse, he says. Well, how about five-star rogue? I like her, but not enough to 565 her. Maybe 455. I just wait for the six-star. I don't expect much from this side quest crystal. Additionally, Kabam should make more than four of these crystals available for the month for free-to-play players. Amen to that, my friend. Thank you for leaving the text on screen long enough for me to read it, too, without having to pause it. I'm overcome with emotion, he says, sarcastically. I like five-star Star-Lord. I like six-star Star-Lord. But with Aegon in the game, there's just really not a niche that I would say you Star-Lord now unless he's your best champion, which he was for a while for me. And my battle run bestie, Katie Candy, was saying, Look at those acorns falling down for Squirrel Girl. That's amazing. An acorn shower. Oh, he put so many tweaks into the second monthly Thronebreaker signature card bundle crystals. He said Thronebreak, so I think he can fit all the, all the words on screen. Okay, Winter Soldier. Look how fast the editing is in this. The fact that there's a squirrel acorn nut shower is literally nuts. Guardian. Thor. Oh. Okay, Bill Murray says. 56 million points, 933 fights to get 5 star any Venom. Wow, bro. You went all out. One shot at 6 star Null slash any Venom. Let's see if the shot works. Oh, again, 5 star Ghost Rider. Not bad. Not what you're looking for, but not bad. 5 star is a 5 star, I always say. Nicholas Cage, this is a national treasure meme. Shout out to Fujitech. <laughs> Immortal Iron Fist. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Last time the side quest crystal got me a five star star. I was wondering what that long meme was for. It was for uncovering a four star Immortal Iron Fist for the first time. Who would have thought? Oh, I know you can't see me, but I am smiling ear to ear. And another Star-Lord. It's inconceivable. Wow, just wow. Thanks for the troll. Kabam. Again, five-star Star-Lord. Not bad. He's added 46 in this one video. All right, Cosmic Eclipse Crystal. Remember those? I don't. Apparently, it was in the game a couple months ago. And how strange it is to be doctored up. Cape and all. Looking for Penny Parker or to awaken Hercules, he says. Come on, Hercules. And there's Hercules, and there's America Chavez. Ha! <laughs> what a meme! Should I be happy? She seems very meh. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's a feature champion, it's a new champion, but once you get past that, attempt at War Machine before he disappears from the featured five star. I like the thought process, the exit. I like it a lot. All right, survey says, I think he's overrated. Okay, he's overrated without the Apocalypse Synergy, man. But with Apocalypse Synergy, just parry heavy, it's amazing. Only two crystals were good out of the 15 obtained from the piggy bank. And look how fast the editing is on this. Five star morning star. And then, 
Five star Cyclops. Good in star value only, otherwise trash. Yeah, I can't argue that. Let's see if these Halloween Day openings and null arena results are tricks or treats. Halloween. Got the Mythic Crystal. Gosh, I don't believe in these at all. So few people get six stars from these. And he is going to be somebody who once again got a trick, not a treat. No six star. Another Mythic Crystal. He is really buying something that I don't think is worth it, but it makes for interesting content on the channel, so I shouldn't complain. Trick, although a good trick for Shang-Chi. True, but still, the odds of getting a 6-star on these feels like about 5%, not 20%. At least I got this arena in the bag. He says 58.1 million. Rotten trick. Happy All Saints Day. Nice. Thronebreaker Daily Card, Bonus, Cavalier, Nexus, Crystals. There's 10 of them. All right, let's see him. Four star. Four star. Six star, number one. Storm P90X. Three star. Four star. Five star. Almost a four star Nexus by accident. There's a five star. Still no Nexus, four star. And, oh, a six-star Shang-Chi out of nowhere, and the peanuts rejoice. Nice. All Souls Day. Well, you got Shang-Chi. <laughs> 18 reasons why these monthly objective crystals suck. <laughs> That'd be an interesting title for a video. Oh, my word. What up, Cyclops? Kabam, Mike's getting a lot of love on my channel this weekend. Three, four, three, 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 three. Poppin' ten. One pitiful five-star who is also pretty pitiful. I'm telling you, man, it's Cyclops weekend on my channel. Not intentional. Just happened between you and Fuji Tech Knives. From the Golden... Wisdom, or Wilson, excuse me, awards Boss Rush side quest. Also forgot that thing existed. And next 23. X marks the spot 23 times. Target, great, fail. Look at that. I love that he color codes that. It's so amazing. Also 623,000 five-star shards. First shot at the new featured five-star crystal. Kitty on your first one? Already had her, though. Had her at SIG 80. Well, it is very cool, but... Oh, got good units out of those. And 100 Cavalier Objective Crystals. Over half a 5-star. Ooh, more Cav Nexus. Nice. Starting out with some 5-stars. And then a 6-star. And he's, he's almost tempted to choose a 3-star. Prom Date Invisible Woman. Five star, five star, six star again. It looks like Iron Man is protecting Rhodey from the cap. That is good commentary. And you were going for five star War Machine earlier in this, and you got the six star. I mean, you've had some great six star luck in these Nexus crystals. And then you've gotten Groot awakened. He's going to get a buff at some point. <laughs> That's such a good meme. That's so good. Although I still think for this one, the Squirrel Girl. How can you not love Groot? Well, Kabam doesn't. Squirrel Girl is my favorite. With the falling acorns, this one. All right. Cavalier Nexus Crystal Correction. Let's see what set of Nexus Crystals were better. Nice correction, man. Five Star Blade. Free Five Star Jubilee. Getting a lot of Six Star Shards for free, if nothing else. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you got a free Six Star Nexus. Don't play with me with the Three Star Ebony Coleslaw. We know. We know it's up. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so this is the free six-star nexus from the correction. From Kabam. When you get a free six-star nexus, and Howard the Suck no longer waits for you for the first time, next to Inferior Iron Man and Falcon, who's actually a good pull now. All right, is he going to open more than one six-star, or is this the last crystal? Huh. 
We shall see. Annihilus. Okay. First time awakening? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Thanks for watching, he says. Well, I'll bring myself back, I guess, for the end of this. Wow. Another 10-minute-plus journey with the exit. Lucky number 13, man. Usually it's an unlucky number, but not for you. The Squirrel Girl Acorn falling is, is the best, but you got... Six star Shang-Chi, Groot, so many others. And next we'll have video number 14. I think he's made 17. And I just try to knock one out every couple weeks when I have time. And it takes a little bit longer for me to do these videos. But he is worth it. His editing is amazing. Right up there with Fuji Tech and OG311 and so many other legends who support the channel with commentary submissions. Thank you as always for watching. Have a good one.